Week 5. What would it be like if we could visit the other planets? The solar system is made up of the Sun and everything in orbit around it. There are eight planets orbiting the Sun together with other minor planets, asteroids and comets. The image above is of the minor planet called Pluto. Until 2006, the solar system was thought to have nine planets as Pluto was included. In 2006, however, astronomers created a clearer description of what we mean when we say an object is a planet. One of the rules the astronomers came up with is that the object must create a strong enough force of gravity to clear the area near its orbit of all other objects. For Pluto, this is not the case as it is so small. There are in fact many other objects known as minor planets in the same area of space as Pluto. Pluto is therefore no longer thought of as a planet. The eight planets in our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Mercury is the closest to the Sun and Neptune furthest away. The picture above shows the sizes of the planets to scale but not the distances between them. For the sizes shown a model of the solar system would not fit onto the school field. The largest planet is Jupiter. It is a huge ball of swirling gas, mainly hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has many moons. The largest four moons are Io, Callisto, Ganymede and Europa. Both Ganymede and Callisto are bigger than our own moon. The image below shows active volcanoes on the surface of Io. The smallest planet is Mercury. It is a very hot, rocky planet that is much smaller than the Earth. Mercury is much nearer to the Sun than the Earth. It is very hot on the surface, but not as hot as Venus that is actually further from the Sun. This is because Venus has an atmosphere that traps the Sun's energy, whereas Mercury does not. 